Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Terrific one in the chat room was asking what it takes to be a beta tester. Well, first of all, before I recite the Greek alphabet, uh, let me explain to you what a beta tester is. It's someone who tests or looks at software that's not quite ready for prime time, at least according to the software development team. So when you hear that software or a website, which in some respects is software, is in beta, it just means that there are going to be bugs throughout the system uh, that are going to be worked out before they feel that the product is ready for prime time. Uh, alpha comes before beta, and as someone had noted in the chat room earlier, they'd rather be a part of the alpha program in terms of testing rather than beta because there's a, a greater chance of your ideas making it into the product. Uh, and in an alpha stage, things still are still kind of gelling, they're still coming together, whereas a beta stage, most things have kind of come together and now they're just fixing the bugs. Uh, no, Ponzi isn't pregnant. I, at least I haven't been beta testing that program that I know of. Um, the, well, I suppose it's not even, that would be a final version, version 2.0. So, uh, any old way, sorry about getting sidetracked with the chat room there. Um, <laughs> the, the whole concept behind beta testing is really providing a lot of feedback. And you can be a beta tester if you have a passion about a product or a service or a company. They you know, are always asking, they being software companies, are always asking for beta testers. Sometimes they have public betas, sometimes they have private betas. Just sign up. Uh, just say, hey, I'm willing to give feedback. That's the big deal. Uh, someone also asked a follow-up. You know what makes an RC or release candidate different from a beta? Uh, an RC is is a, a level at which they feel the the code has stabilized. Uh, they've gotten a lot of the bugs worked out, and they're ready to release it as a final product. Um, but you know, even the term beta is, is thrown around, you know, just willy nilly these days. Uh, Flickr has been beta. And I think it recently went gamma, whatever the heck that means. Uh, but it's been one of the more stable web apps I've ever had the opportunity of using. Even in early days uh, when they called it beta, it, it worked wonderfully. I'm sure there are bugs, but I certainly didn't see them. Um, so, you know, it, you know, in the end of the day, if you've got a passion, like I said, uh, you can be a beta tester and, and sign up to be a beta tester or an alpha tester or just a tester at all. And all it takes is just communicating with these people. So now I've got to re uh, recite the uh, um, Greek alphabet. Uh, which I've done a, a few times already today, so this is my stupid pet trick, or human trick, I guess. A wicket was barking, that would be the stupid pet trick. Ow, oh, here he comes. Come here, come here. Oh, no, it's, it's Pixie. Come here. Here, you're going to recite the Greek alphabet with me? Here we go. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. Oh, dog, what did you step in? Oh.